presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hey, Robin, how you doing, man? Yes, and thank you for taking my call. I wanted to let you know that I've been a subscriber for a couple of years, just different members of your team, and I really enjoy it. But really the reason I'm calling is to express my sincerest gratitude for you providing that information information yesterday on the small business grant. I'm a small business owner, and primary breadwinner for my family. And if I can get that money, it's going to really mean a lot to my family. So that's awesome. Thank you for uh, taking the time to do that. No, uh, well, listen, man, we appreciate you growling a problem with us. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We are five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone is having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. Happy Father's Day to everyone out there. Let's all go have a good time. Cultivate wisdom. You don't need to accumulate knowledge to become wise. Anyone can become wise. When you become wise, you respect your body, you respect your mind, and you respect your soul. When you become wise, your life is controlled by your heart, not your head. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading up 182, NASDAQ up 168, SPs up 20, gold contract trading down $13.30 at $18.36 an ounce. We had silver off uh, 32 cents, 21 dollars 65 cents an ounce. Platinum down 20 bucks, 9.30 an ounce. Light sweet crude off 8 dollars 51 cents, 109 dollars 8 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10-year note up 10, up 12 ticks, trading 116.06. The 30-year up a full point, plus eight ticks at 131.21. And King Dollar, look at this baby man, King Dollar. Up uh, 173 ticks at 104.705. Euro right now at a price point of 104. Yen 134, uh, just about 135. And the British pound, 122 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, you get a sideways market out here. So I expect what you're going to see, there's nothing going to be heavy like yesterday, folks. But more than likely, you're probably just going to turn red, slightly red. Because, see, what we had out here this morning. Oh, actually, hold up. Is that? Well, here, one second. There's... Oh, that's yesterday. Right. Okay, cool. But that's what it's going after right now. Okay, so this is what you have. Yesterday, no, no, no. I had the wrong one up here. That's what's going. I knew I'm, I'm looking at the same. No, this is not work. This is not where it's at because what had happened this morning is that we almost did an ABC structure down. And I suspect that's going to happen probably, oh, 39. One second. Hold it. This, if this broke it. No, I don't think it broke it. One second. 42, it did. Okay. So, what we have is this. We actually came down, what time was that? At 10.40 this morning. And we actually did break a B point, and you have the volume behind the deal. Now, my take is that we're not going to get down that quick. The reason being is that what happens is that when you come down as fast as we did yesterday, folks, it's really hard to get two or three days of those getting together. That being said, I think what you'll see, you'll see weakness coming into the close. You know, bottom line, we're up 16. Now you could be flat. The problem is on a longer term basis, meaning Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of next week, is bottom line, you have broken this, this number. And you got juice on the break. So that's another ABC structure down. Uh, and it's a very large ABC structure down. Uh, when we take this, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll do it in the, well, I do it, let's see. I'll do it in the next break. That's what I'll do. But it's a, it's, a, it's a big one. That's the bottom line. We take a look at the NQs. NQs right now, they're up 152 points. And we take a look at those NQs. And I suspect those, those are also going to sell off into the close. Um, you know, 
bottom line, once once we actually got below the 11,348, right now you're 310, you know, it's just like anything else, man. I mean, the bottom line is that um, this thing came down this morning, had some, uh, actually, the, the, the actually low actually didn't have that much volume. Uh, that being said, though, you can see this bar. We're heading right now for 266. You're at 309. You break 266, and it's just going to flatten out. You know, we'll probably be up 100 uh, NQ points. But I suspect what you're going to see is you're going to see the uh, good old S&P being flat, or down slightly. Uh, the dollar. So check this out, folks. So the dollar, you know, yesterday we came down hard from 105.5 to 103.5. Today, you go topside again at 105, and you basically have given it up, okay? So um, when I say given it up, the high that we've been dealing with is the May 13th high. So we close it underneath it. Now, we don't have volume on this. What we do have volume on, and what a lot of the Tigers do trade, is the UPP, a UUP, one second. Yeah. So... And this one, and Ryan, thanks for the heads up on this. So watch this, folks, okay? Now, I don't, I, I look at this, okay? But I'm certainly not going to make a dollar call on this, okay? Because the bottom line is that compared to a foreign currency, you know, this trades as a dollar index. but And that's 1.6 million. It, it trades, but the currency markets, folks, are billions and billions of dollars. That being said, uh, if we take a look at this, what you're going to see on the daily basis, right? You know, yesterday you come down with 4.9. And you go up with, uh, you know, 1.6 today and you give it up. That being said, as that Ryan gave me a heads up, though, and guess what? When you put this on a weekly, that is a weekly ABC structure on the way up. <laughs> you blew away the, it's, it's, a, it's a complex one, okay? You got, you got over it. You closed under it. Bottom line, that's going to be dangerous because that, you know, 28, that's two and a half off that. And that could get you to 30. And if we take a look at this, that would be saying that, hey, guess what? This dollar is not done going down yet. But, you know, that's, that's a toss-up. That's the bottom line. The dollar has shown strength. There's no doubt about it. Um, and if that dollar it does go to uh, the, that price point of uh, 121, it's going to be uh, a little bit worse than I think it's at this particular point that I'm set up as how I think this market's going to shake out. And when I say that, it... <laughs> This ABC down, folks, okay, it all has to do with how my take is we're going there. That being said, that doesn't mean it's the end. Um, it depends how we get there. I do not want to get there like we're getting there right now, meaning you go down, you go sideways a bit, you go down. That is just building energy for lower and lower prices. The only way, not the only way, but percentage-wise, the way that markets turn is that they're relentless and they don't stop. We don't have that, man. We don't have that. Um, it's been a bad market, but there's still too many people that want to buy, buy, buy. And that's, guess what? That is not what markets are made out of. And that's, that is not what bottoms are made out of. That's my point. Dow Industrials right now, that gave it up quick. Oh, my God. That went to uh, negative 17. NASDAQ's up 135. S&P's up 6. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. of booming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? 
Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Best of Behuli, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate you growling and problem with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 25. NASDAQ is up 151. S&Ps are up 12. Now, let's go. We're going to look at the dollar first because the dollar best has been going all over the place. Yeah. And so there was a question that in the den that said, hey, man, I said that the dollar is that ABC structure up. Uh, and, and it is. This is so this, let me explain this a little bit more. And it, it is inside of the UUP. It's, a, it's definitely a dollar, an, an ABC structure up. You'll see how this is shaking out. Um, because in order for an ABC, I need volume. That's the bottom line. So you can see on the, on the weekly, I mean, on the daily, you know, this thing looks like it wants to go lower. But yet, when you put this on a weekly, what you are going to see is that this has taken the $28.07 out with volume. It's 21 million shares versus 22.7. So your B point on this is 28, your A point is 25 and a half. So you get two and a half bucks, which gets you at uh, 29.72. So that being said though, and that's why I was trying to explain at the beginning of the update, is that the currency markets are so much bigger. So, you know, bottom line, we'll see where that baby shakes out. So, what has been going on in the real estate business in St. Petersburg and Tampa in the same last week? Piece, huh? Yeah, same thing, you know, just slowly, more listings, yeah. less under contract, uh, you know, slowly and slowly. Some days are about even, right? but then some days it's, it's insane. Today was a lot. Yeah, yeah today, today was a lot. Today, folks, we watch this every day. We watch this every minute, actually. <laughs> um, but today, uh, we had, so... Specifically, what we're looking for is this. Actually, you know what's so cool, folks? Okay, check this out. The um, Bestfit put together, uh, now this is, first was like the spreadsheet I'm talking about, about, you know, the... Oh, going back to 2000? Yeah. Yeah, this yeah. was, uh, what, three, four years ago. Yeah. Yeah. And so this was really cool. So what we did is this. We put every sale together because I was explaining to them what had happened, folks, before the crash in 2007 and eight is that the home builders, actually, yeah, let me show you what they did because this was really intriguing because it looked like the market was going to fall apart, right? And that was in 2005, I believe. And then what ended up happening is that the Fed, maybe four, the Fed turned around and made interest rates even lower. And uh, let's see, oh, I gotta bring it back further than this. Watch, watch this, okay, so. Bring it back 20, because we, 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 you're going to crack up. Yeah, I've told you this, but it's like, 
Okay, so it looked like, yeah, it's 2004. So let's say Lana. Lana was up at $56. Then it's that falling apart, okay? Gets down to $40. And this is where, in 2004, then all of a sudden the Fed says, no, no, we gotta bring, bring rates down even more. So what does it do? Bang, it goes all the way up. And you can see, like, if you, if you watch this on Tiger TV, you can see how the volume contracts, I mean, in a monster way, right? Um, so it's kind of intriguing, like, in this particular case, it's like, okay, when is the, you know, Fed going to blink? And I don't think they're going to blink for a long time. That's, and it's going to keep going up. Right. Yeah. And you've never seen that, right? No, no. Right. I've never seen raise this high. Right. So yeah. picture this. Now, how old are you? 33. 33. Yeah. And you've never seen rates at 6%. No, not no, since for I sure. can remember. Yeah. No, no, yeah. They, they haven't been. No, yeah. that, that's, that's, that's the point more than anything. I mean, because what, what happens, folks, is that, um, you know, what I've found is this. You can read plenty of things, but the cycles are important. Yeah. To feel them. You got to be out there and feel it. See yeah. See what's happening. And, right. And we, we feel it right now. Right. Yeah. And what are the clients saying that have houses on the market right now? Uh, you know, a lot of them just just kind of want to sell right now. Yeah. So, so I'm I'm seeing a but lot. But they're of not people. they're not allowing to get on a price. No, you know they think it's gonna hold up, but uh, we'll see. We'll see as uh, time you know passes by. Right. Yeah. So, folks, if you're putting your house on the market, this is the Tom O'Brien take. Okay. And this is just like the stock market. We feel like we're so lucky because we're in both. Trust me. <laughs> You gotta be the first one out of the, out of the door. That's the bottom line. Yeah. And it's really hard to explain to people. It's not hard to explain to them, but they really don't understand that you gotta be the first one out of the door because you don't even know what's gonna go on in the next three, four, five months. Yeah. And you know, if you think you're gonna go down on price at all, just kill the price right now and do it and eat it. Well, um, that's what happened with one of my listeners, right? So. Uh, we listed at 305. Yeah. I thought it was worth 310, 315. Right. But I told the, the sellers, like, listen, I think this is what it's worth. I think we should go a little bit lower, get more action. And uh, we, still, we still got a little bit of action, but not like what, what I right. thought. But today just went under contract, so. Congratulations. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so. That, oh, that's, that's good. But it's not like those old, you know, under contract, zero day inspection. You right. Know, closing th this is a seven day inspection, you know, stuff like yeah. that. So, so what, be what Best is saying there is this. What has happened, folks, was changing is you'll they'll have an inspection in there. You'll have a appraisal, appraisal in there. And I can tell you that the, the last house I moved, remember, I moved that at. 9.30 or 9.60? Nine and a quarter, yeah. Nine and a quarter, no inspection, seven days, all cash, no right? No appraisal, yeah. No appraisal, yeah. Those days are gone, you know? And what Bestford and I would, had been talking, because we've been in both markets. I mean, I, I had a house that I, I, I literally, I ended up selling at 1.1 million. They just flipped it for, well, they didn't flip it. They had owned it for four years, 1.95. But I did open houses for one year straight, every yeah. single Sunday. Remember that? Yeah, we. I mean, we did open houses for two years straight on some <laughs> properties, right? It was, Yeah. that's what I'm trying to tell people. And that wasn't that long ago. No, that yeah, was three, five years, three, yeah, four, three to four five, years ago. Yeah, yeah. Right, And right. you know, two, two, three years ago was, you know, you, you had to work really hard to sell a house. Right. Now it's just like, it was just right. going. But I think we're gonna go back to where it was like two, three yeah, years ago. Yeah, no, that, that's the normal way, okay? That's, yeah. that, that, there's no doubt about that, so. This is going to get, uh, you know, these rates, uh, the rates are the rates. That's the bottom line. Well, you know, we saw the new listings today, and, you know, I haven't seen it that high in, in so many years. So right. I think maybe that's why people are getting scared. Right. They're saying, let's just sell now. Right. So, so we'll, we'll see what happens here in the next few weeks. And, and, folks, I am not suggesting, right, this is, the, I wanted to get this through your head also. I'm not suggesting that, you know, you go sell your house because it's going to go down in value. I mean, I, I, I got plenty of stuff and I'm keeping it. I, I consolidated in a big way to, to go through two, three, four years, whatever that is. Um, and that's the way you should really think about it. You know what I mean? Just because I suspect what we're going to have is this. You, you're going to, you got this deal going down. Okay, so we'll go down for about a year and a half, right? And then guess what? Then, you know, five years from now, no, six to seven years, this will be a blip on the marketplace and your houses are going to be worth more money. Because 
what has happened is that everything costs more. And, you know, the, the, uh, the aspect of who is to blame, well, the bottom line is that you can go all, you can go all the way back to Greenspan. You know, the Fed's been putting money in this market forever. The, the, the put has been on there forever. So uh, yeah. I crack up when people say, oh, it's that person. It's like, what are you, crazy, man? I mean, yeah. you know, the amount of money that's been put in the marketplace on yeah. a continual basis is, is, it's is big. It's another cycle, yeah. It's another cycle. Okay. Stay right there, folks. Best and I are coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 139, NASDAQ up 198, S&P's up 27. We'll come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, best fit, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate your growl on our problem with us. Right now, we have the uh, Dow up 135. NASDAQ is up 200. S&Ps are up 27. And let's just go inside the uh, Dow for a second and see... The, you know, it, it's pretty interesting because when we started the program, folks, I had the Dow was up a buck fifty. Uh, it then it went negative, and then you know, got, you're up a buck thirty two. So you can expect a huge amount of volatility coming into this close today. So uh, American Express is putting 49 positive points, Salesforce 33, Microsoft 31 taken away from it, Chevron minus 42, you got Walmart minus 13. Now, with that said, I'm going to go over to this oil market. So the oil today, best fit, is getting smoked, um, you know, which is the first day that you had some real action on the way down inside of the oil market. Um, the Okay, so let's see what's done here. So, and yeah. Why, why do you think it's going down? They just sold it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> People were just selling it, exactly. Um, so this is not a bad setup, really. 
You know, what happens, folks, is that this is actually a last engulfing. And what that means specifically is that what you have is that you have gone down for five or six days. You try to get higher today. You come down. Oil's not done. Let's go to uh, Navin in uh, Virginia. Hey, Navin, what's going on? Hello, Tom. How are you? I'm doing Thanks great, man. Yourself? Call. Yeah, uh, I would like to know your take on uh, the company Deer. Sure. Okay, so let's take a look at it. You got Deer. Okay, we know huge, you know, manufacturer. Uh, and, you know, not only in the agricultural business, the construction business, the forestry business, commercial and um, consumer. Lows 307, the highs 446. You're dealing... You're trading at uh, 324, it pays a 1.3% dividend. Okay, so let's put this on a weekly first. Okay, so now we got a high volume. Yeah, I wouldn't touch this thing. So what you have here is this, right? You get a high volume low. That high volume low is 313. So that says it wants to test it. The problem, Navin, is this. Yeah. This consolidated from all the way over to my, my, the February of 2021. Right. And that broke that consolidation with volume. So that's saying it's going to take the next leg down. Yeah, let me show you something. Well, this is because this, this chart, not that they're, you know, but I'm going to show you what Amazon. Amazon did the same thing. What happened is that Amazon was consolidating, one of the first stocks that were consolidating up there. And the bottom line is that you can see when it broke, man, <laughs> you know, get out of the way. And right, right. Yeah. so it's, a, it's the same type of setup, man. Um, and, you know, more than likely, um, you know, the bottom line is that I suspect if we're in an inflationary business, agriculture is still going to do good. Construction is not going to do good. Forestry, I'm not, I don't know enough about forestry, but um, yeah, I'd be really careful at that point. You know, at this point, you almost got to be careful of everything. That's what it really comes down to, man. Sure, sure, yeah. Do you own Thank this? You, Are you looking to buy I it? What are we doing? Very informative. I'm sorry. No, I said thank you for all you do. Oh I no, your absolutely. Very informative. Now, hey, do you own this? Are you looking to buy it? Uh, no, I, I was actually looking to short it because uh, I thought because of uh, uh, lower economic activity, because yeah. because of the economy slowing down, I thought it might have an impact of deer, which is it really shot up in the last few months. So, yeah, well, no, I think it's a good shot. I do. Okay. Um, okay. What would be what would you want to happen though, right? See how it, you know it got last week. It got up to three sixty eight. If it ever bounce up there again, it'd be great. And if it bounces with light volume, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, right, right. because yeah. The, the what you do is you take the break of the consolidation, you take the bottom of the consolidation, which is 342, and I take the top, which is 400. Man, that's, uh, did I say 342? Yeah, oh, 321. 321. That's big, man. That's 80 bucks. That's saying that that thing can get down to, uh, what, 240. Where's 240. 240 right here. Yeah. I mean, you get a break in that. That's just 240s on the agenda. So, cooking, okay. brother. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. Have a great one, man. Have, Have a safe one. Right. And, you know, an, another tra a trade, folks, that if you can get a good bounce going, just something that you should keep in mind in the future, you get a good bounce going, and if you've traded options before, what you could do is you could go out till October and... You basically, you know, if you're traded options, you can certainly, you know, buy an option on the futures. That is the way that you will get some real firepower, man, you know. So if you don't trade options, stay away from it. But that's a way that, and you'd want to do that in an up market. Um, and if the, you already know what the ABC price projection is, so if you, Basically, doing something like that will go for that price projection, you know. So, is it, is it John Deere that's moving to Texas? Uh, they're moving to. Are they moving to Texas? Who was moving to Texas? You no, know, they, they probably are. They probably are. I mean, From Illinois, but that's not. Yep. John, is it John Deere? Uh, they, they. I think. Let's see. Let's see where they say they're. They're in. 
Yeah, they're in Illinois, so they're probably moving to Texas. You know, we were talking about this. What has happened, folks, is this. Particularly, we're in Florida, we know. I mean, when I, when I moved down here from Massachusetts, no more personal income tax, you know, and that's either 7 to 12 percent. I forget what. Well, it's a lot of money. And what has happened, folks, is this. The reason that you see so much more movement to Texas, to Las Vegas, uh, to Nevada, and to Florida in general, is that, and this is where the whole deal is. If you're ever making a deal with anyone, folks, right, always make a deal percentage-wise. <laughs> Because what happens is that the, the numbers are always going to get larger, flat out. That's, I mean, the first car, you know, my mother bought me a car in 1967. It was a Super Sport Chevy 283. Nice. It cost $3,000. Wow. That's it. So the same car now is probably 60. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah, granted it's, you know, 60 years later, uh, 55 years later. That's, that's amazing. So you're always dealing with bigger numbers. Now watch what happens though with our taxes and general. We pay a percentage. So as these numbers get higher, you're actually paying more dollars because yeah. it's always a percentage. So my take is that the reason that these companies are moving so much quicker now is that they're dealing with very large numbers. So if you're even dealing with a small percentage number, for, for our, even off their employees, it makes a big difference. Yeah, those are big numbers. Yeah, they're big, big, big numbers, man. Numbers, yeah. They're big numbers, man. And, yeah. and it's like, not only that, it's good living, too. That's the other side of it, man. Well, you know, I was talking to this uh, couple that just moved down here from New York, and they were, you know, explaining to me how property taxes yeah. work up there. It's right. completely different from down here. It, well, you bring up a great point, because, so what happens, folks, is that all the taxes are high up there. But what also happens is this, picture this, when you take about, Let's say we talk about New York and we talk about California. People say it all the time because the taxes are so high. But guess what? What also happens there is that the average pays there are so much higher than the whole rest of the country, and their economies are so big, yeah. it is unbelievable. So the argument that you're just because the taxes are high, you don't make money, that doesn't fly. That, that, that's a reality. Myself, yeah. I like Florida. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean? I yeah, mean, yeah. it really is. It's like, okay, you know, California has huge taxes, New York has huge but they're, they're, the payrolls are huge, too. Yeah, they're making way more money. Yeah, too, so, yeah. yeah. Stay right there, folks. Best and I coming right back. We have the Dow. Dow right now is up 99. Nasdaq's up 179. S&Ps are up 22. We're coming in. You got uh, 22 minutes into this close, and, um, you know, it's an orderly market out here today. Yesterday was the action. Stay right here, folks. Come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? 
Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is up uh, 90 points. You get the S&Ps up uh, 19. Uh, Nasdaq's up 173. Let's go to our man, Jose in Lakeland. Jose, what's going on, brother? Good afternoon, fellas. Jesus, you guys look good looking there. You look, you do two sitting there. Looks like the cover of GQ magazine. <laughs> That's a beautiful thing. I got my, I got my big brother right here. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> hey, Tom, I always hear you talk about your love for wood, wood. Yes. You're, you're, you're always, when you're dismantling an older house, I hear you talk about, you, you're interested in beautiful wood, correct? That's absolutely, man. You know, it's so funny. I just came from the wood yard right before I got on here. <laughs> oh, is that right? Wow. Yeah. Um, hey, do you have a pencil there? Yeah. Allow me to brag brag a little. Write down 81, 81, 81, Converse, like the sneaker, Converse Street, Stoneham, Massachusetts. Allow me to brag a little. That was our home for 40 years. Oh. Look at the wood inside there. I don't know if you've ever seen gum wood. Do you know what gum wood I is? I sure do, man. Okay. Look throughout the inside of that house. My, my dad bought it in 1960 for 60 grand. 60 and 60, the year I was born. We moved in the night, uh, Halloween night. My mom went to the Winchester Hospital, had me Halloween night, and we were there 40 years. Wow. That is so cool. And folks, so picture this. This is what this is really cool, folks, okay? Where Jose's talking about, right? When I first got married, right? Bottom line, you know, we wanted to, I wanted a tree, so we wanted to get out of South Boston, right? And stone him, okay, is so beautiful, it's insane. I couldn't afford stone him, okay? So we went to Milton, that's the Irish Riviera, right? You know what I mean? Yeah. But where Stoneham is gorgeous, man. Always has been, man. Uh, just that's yeah. really cool, man. And I'll look this up because I, yeah, I. Uh, Tom, the fire, uh, the fireplace was built and ripped down by the builder named Locke. He owned a lumber company in Wakefield. The house, the driveway's in Wakefield. The house is in Stoneham. Yeah. Uh, he, he tore it down three times before he settled on it. But the gumwood in there is incredible. My dad was an eye doctor, ophthalmologist, and he uh, bought it for sixty in 1960. Right. No, I know. I, I, that is awesome. And it's awesome about the um, fireplace you're talking about because when, when I did, I, I, I rebuilt this old carriage house that was a couple hundred years old on a farm in Milton. And uh, the, what happens, folks, in, in Massachusetts in general, we have quarries, so I actually could get at that point, right? I went right to the quarries with the, you know, the, what happens is that we really, at that point, I'm, you know, I'm going back a long time now, there were plenty of real masons still there. Yeah. That, I mean, they know, and so he helped me pick out the stone, Jose. It was pretty freaking cool, man. He's breaking the yeah. stones, putting them in, making the real deal, which, you know, you already know how this works, but pretty cool, man. Yeah. yeah, it's fascinating. Um, uh, hey, Tom, in 20-plus years, I've never heard you talk about mutual funds. If you have, I've missed it. Do you recommend when this all unsettles and um, September, October comes, when the Fed stops raising rates, what do you recommend for a mutual fund, the growth and in income? I would just, the only thing I recommend for people that are coming in the marketplace or something like that is you buy the SPY and you set it and forget it. Because what happens is that the SPY is the least amount of um, fees. And the bottom line is you own 500 of the largest companies in the world. You know, so. Well, how do you buy the SPY? 
SPY, just like, yeah, the SPY. Oh. Yeah. Okay, I I never traded that. Uh, because the, but, yeah, it, I'm talking about long term. No, I'm talking saying, about long term too. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, because what ha that. what happens is that um, you don't have fees, man. And, I got and you that. own the 500 right. largest hey, companies in the world. So. Right, right. Hey, let's hope that Jerome Powell, Reich Marshall Powell, pulls that punch bowl out next week out of the trunk of his Tesla, huh? Yeah, I don't think he's gonna. <laughs> <laughs> have a great one, man. Thank you. Take care, man. Let's go to David in uh, Michigan. Hey, David, what's going on? Hey, Tom. How you doing, man? Good stuff on the morgue. Yeah, the real estate stuff is fun. Um, have you ever seen a buyer's seller's market flip to a buyer's market this quickly? Yes. So the strategy I'm looking at is securing a mortgage. And is there any nuances you know, using a local bank, credit union, or mortgage broker that you find as beneficial you know, it's more beneficial to the buyer and sellers. And how long? How long is it you're going to get take the mortgage for? Uh, either fifteen or thirty. Are you actually going to live in the house that long? Yeah. Uh, no. So I'm how long do you think you're going to live in the house? You know, in five years, find something. Yeah. So a little different. What you're going to see, this is what's going to start happening, folks. Okay. You you, you don't want a fixed rate mortgage, and, and I know. You know, you get a variable rate and you say, okay, man, are you kidding me? The rate, rates are going to keep going up. And that, that's a fact, okay? But what happens is this. Let's picture you get a, a 15 or 30 right now. You're going to be at six or six and a half, right? What happens is that you can get a mortgage now basically right off this 10-year, um, and it's going to be a variable, but it's going to be running out at, you know, three and a half. <laughs> so you'll three start a hearing a lot more about that. Um, and, you know, yes... As the rates go up, that's going to go up. But if you're only keeping it for five years, man, I mean, I, you know, I think, you know, you could no. get up to six in five years. Yeah. But guess what? The first couple of years, you're going to well, be at three and a half or four mm -hmm. or something. Do you know what I mean? What if you plan on keeping the house necessarily, but maybe just leveraging it to purchase a different house? Then you're going to get a fixed rate mortgage at the least amount that, you know, you can get and that's it. That's that's how it goes. So the source of the mortgage is really irrelevant. That's correct. Yeah. They're all the same. Well, you should shop okay. around, okay, because there's going to be point spreads that are different, but they're all the same, yes. Yeah. And because and my, my the, take, the, the listen, I get a pretty, pretty, pretty dire... I'm sorry, what? The, the, the mortgage companies, the, the mortgage business in Florida, is that, is that competitive nationwide? Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, big time. Yeah. Yeah. And my take okay. here, th this is where, I, I mean, I think this is going to be a hard landing, you know, in the markets, in the real estate markets, all of the above. Because I think these mortgages, before we're done, I think we're going to see eight and a half, nine percent mortgages, man. Yeah. Now, and, you convinced me of that. I mean, I was thinking, well, gee, maybe we get a pullback. But now I'm thinking we need a lot now. <laughs> yeah, you do. You do. It's, yeah. it's what has happened is this. This is a, a total... Different dynamic. And when you ask me the first question, have I seen this before? I have, and that's why I'm so lucky, because I start selling as best as those, and I'm talking about hundreds of places. <laughs> yeah. I start selling last November. I've been selling that long. And I finally sold everything. I, I only have two more closes, right? Yeah. At the end yeah. of this month, and I've sold everything that I wanted. And I, that plan was in place last November. Because I, I, what happened... You know how I say on the air, like, what would happen if you uh, up 20% versus down 20%, right? And that's what I did. I says, man, I think this is it. And I took the shot, and, you know, I was lucky. And, you know, so, yeah. Lock in the, lock in the right, man. We're, we're going wait, a lot wait, higher, man. Florida, and I'm just like, well, I'm up 35% in the last three years. If right. I take a 35% hit, I'm still at par. So, that, which is great. Exactly. Right, right, right. Yeah. Cooking, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Yeah, these rates. Yeah, they just keep going up higher. I mean, most mortgage companies, you know, they, they're on the market, so they're going to be about the same rates. Yeah, because they're work. selling the paper to Wall Street, yeah, right? It just depends on, you know, who's the broker and how much they're trying to make. Right, exactly. Yeah. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Look at that Dow. That man, that Dow can go up and down 100 points like nothing. <laughs> the Dow right now is up 9 points. NASDAQ's up 156. S&Ps are up 10. We'll come right back, folks.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is flat. NASDAQ is up 159. S&Ps are up 10. And one of our targets, uh, Fletch, actually in the den, just brought up the aspect. And this is the common sense deal, folks. And this is, you should really wrap your head around this. You know, I talk a lot about where, this is a, where we reset. And every one of our signatures, we're resetting. Yeah. So our signatures are worth less money. And the way he puts it, it's all about affordability. The higher the rates go, the lower the price goes. And what you should do, and I do this exercise, and I, he's he seen me do this exercise last year. Yeah. I was doing the exercise, every $100,000, every point higher, how much is it? Because guess what? It that is what runs the real estate business. That is what runs the market. And if you it just do it, take a pencil, take a number two pencil and do it. And you will come to your senses if you're worrying about things. So at least you'll know, you know, <laughs> right? I mean, well, that, that's yeah. what happens. I, I, I did the numbers on a house. Um, it was uh, 800 and some thousand. So if you bought that back in February, yeah. it would have been $700 cheaper a month than buying it now. There you go. So that's an extra $700 a month. 8400 a year. Yeah. Yeah. So that means at 8400 a year, so picture this, you're going to make 24000 well, well, 8400 that's 24000 Well, you still have to make 34%. You, you still have to make another 12000 or something. Yeah. yeah. 12000 to get 8400 yeah. yeah. So no. once you can get that wrapped around your head, you'll kind of understand, you won't be questioning why things can go down when interest rates are going up, yeah, because people, people do. They and just can't buy it. They, right. It's, if you buy it, 
Unfortunately, what's going to happen, folks, is going to be people that are trapped and people that are going to buy it because they haven't done their numbers first and they're not going to realize, oh, yeah, I can afford this a couple of months and all of a sudden it's like five months later. It's like, okay, yeah. man, where yeah. are you going with it? I have a few of those right now. I don't think they're realizing it, but they, they still mm. want to buy. So not good. We'll see. Well, listen, folks, everyone have a great weekend. A long, it's a long weekend. Have a great Father's Day. Have some fun out there. And always remember, the bear can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great weekend, folks. Have a safe weekend. Come back and visit Tommy Monday morning. Uh, Tuesday morning kicks us off. Nine in the morning. Great show, folks. Look at him, folks. Building